Hi everyone, I wanted to show you this great tool that we use a lot to make our GIFs better before we upload them to the pin. So it's called easygif.com, notice the spelling here. And it's quite a big tool, so I suggest you experiment around yourself. But I will show you a easy example of how you can import a GIF from Jiffy and make it better before you upload it to the pin. So I have found this Winnie the Pooh GIF on Jiffy and I will here select media and then I will use this social sharing link that used to be the best one. So I will copy that and I will go back into easy GIF and I will select this crop. And I will add the URL here so I will just paste it and I will upload it. And now I have my GIF inside easy GIF. So on here I want to crop it to the right size. So I will say left zero, top zero, width 320 and height 300. And that will move it to the corner and make it the right size. So now I will grab this and I will center it on Winnie the Pooh. And I also want to show some of the honey there. So I will put it right here. After this, I press crop image and here's the cropped result. Now, since this image is a little bit dull, you see the, the colors are not that vivid and uh, I also want to increase the contrast a little bit before I upload it to my pin. So I will say select effects and then in here I want to increase the saturation to make the colors more vivid. I want to increase the brightness and the contrast. But they have a lot of options here and I suggest you experiment around. Especially these for animations can be quite nice to make an animation like uh, go back and forth and uh, stuff, stuff like that. But I will focus on the colors here. So um, I will add 50 to the saturation and I will increase the contrast by 10 and I will, uh, sorry, the brightness by 10 and I will uh, increase the contrast by 20. So uh, now I will press apply selected here to apply my edits to the image. And you can see the difference, like it's quite dark and dull here and it's much more light here. But I see that I lose some of the detail in the sky, so I will actually bring the brightness down 5. So let's try that again, apply. And here you got it with a little bit more blue sky behind him. And you can see it's quite a big difference. So uh, now since I want to upload this to the pin without any transformation by the app, I also want to add uh, like a black vignette to this and that's because that is needed on the pin. So I will press overlay here and I will upload a image and this image will be available close to this video so you will be able to download it as well. So I will go here into downloads and I have this mask image that I will add. So I press open, upload and yeah, this looks nice, so I will press generate image. Okay, uh, and you see that adding the mask added quite a lot of size and the size is now bigger than the app allows. So then the app will transform my image and try to compress it. And I don't want that to happen. So I will actually do some optimization of this. And they have a lot of options here. One thing to note is that they have these drop frames and that is that it will help you remove like every other or every third frame in your animation. And that might be good if you have too many frames. You know, the pin is only supporting 35 frames. And in this case, it's fine because it's 20, but say you had 40 here, then you need to rem remove some frames. And then you can use this, like remove every second frame to get rid of some of the frames. I, however, will uh, 
use this optimize transparency option. I won't tell you what it's doing, but uh, it's reducing the file size quite a lot. So I will select five here and I will press optimize GIF. And as you can see, we more than halved the file size. I will also redo this optimization again with another uh, formula and that is this lossy GIF and this one works great especially for videos so if you have a video that you want to import and you need to get the file size down setting this lossy to about 80 will do wonders to that so but I will set this to 40 and I will press optimize and here is my final image and it's quite a uh, difference from the original here. As you can see, contrasts are higher, it's cropped to fit on the pin, uh, all that. So all I need to do now is save it to my computer. So I will save it. I will save it as poo. And now the next step will be to import this into the app or transfer it to my phone with uh, uh, airdrop or by adding it to photos and then import it on my phone so good luck and i hope i will see some uh, better gifts from you guys as well